mainit na sinalubong ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa isang courtesy call sa palasyo ng Malacanang ang Deputy Prime Minister ng Malaysia. Dito, napag-usapan ng dalawa ang pagtutulungan sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Malaysia sa larangan ng Disaster Risk Reduction at Education, partikular ang Technical Vocational Education and Training. Naging produktibo ang pagkikipagpulong ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. sa mga Deputy Prime Minister at Representatives ng United Nations nang bumisita ang mga ito sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Ito'y kasabay ng pagdaraos ng Asia-Pacific Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction kung saan host ang Pilipinas. Hinigayat ng Pangulo ang mga dadalo sa naturang conference na paigtingin ang pagtutulungan at isulong ang interes ng bawat mansa upang malabanan ang epekto ng climate change sa buong mundo. It is an honor for the Philippines to host this gathering of experts, scientists, policymakers, practitioners, bound together by a common purpose. For many years, the Philippines has stood on the front line of the climate crisis. Our geographical location exposes us to hazards such as typhoons, earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. Each of these challenges has tested the resilience of every Filipino and the strength of our spirit as a nation. Our vision is clear. To reduce disaster risks and losses, and in doing so, protect lives, livelihoods, and the social and economic assets that underpin our societies. Through this conference, we are presented with the opportunity to explore new avenues of co collaboration, especially in leveraging science and technology to alleviate the impact of climate change and ensuring that disaster risk reduction financing is accessible to all. In pursuit of mitigating disaster risks, where nations rise above the adversity, here is to best practices and the lasting and deeper friendship among our country and our people. Nakipag-usap si Pangulong Marcos Jr. sa Presidenta ng United Arab Emirates o UAE sa pamamagitan ng phone call. Tinalakay ng dalawang leader ang patuloy na pagpapatibay ng kooperasyon sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at UAE. Kabilang dito ang pagbibigay ng tulong sa mga nasalanta ng kalamidad noong mga nakaraang buwan at pagbibigay ng pardon sa higit isang daan at apat na po na Pilipino roon. the Pacific region, nations like ours grapple with similar trials. We share a common struggle, navigating the, the balance between continued economic growth and dealing with the ever-present threat of disasters. The Asia-Pacific region also stands as a testament to the unwavering spirit of its people. From the tsunami in the Indian Ocean to Typhoon Haiyan in the Pacific Ocean, from the earthquakes in Nepal to floods in South Asia, our nations have conquered monumental challenges. Still, we remain as the world's engine of growth, steering the global economic recovery in the wake of the pandemic. So as we convene for the 2024 Asia-Pacific Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, we find ourselves at a critical juncture as we chart our course to a more inclusive and resilient Asia-Pacific, let us draw inspiration from the stories of resilience that are embedded in our region. This conference presents us with a grand opportunity to send a powerful message to the world. The Asia-Pacific is not only prepared to overcome the trials of tomorrow, 
we are also ready to lead in disaster risk reduction and climate action. The Philippines is one of the most mineral-rich countries in the world, has a unique opportunity to leverage its natural resources for national development. Today, we honor the companies that have demonstrated that mining in the country is more than just extracting resources. It's about giving back as well, giving back to the environment, giving back to the community, and giving to the future generations who will inherit this planet. This ceremony is a celebration of your commitment and your responsibility. It is a tribute to those who see mining as a profound opportunity to uplift communities and ensure environmental sustainability for generations to come. To our awardees today, you have set a high bar, embodying what it means to create value that extends beyond profit and demonstrating to the public that it is not enough to just meet regulations you must strive to go beyond them. With a continued partnership amongst the government, industry, and local communities, there is no doubt that the Bagong Pilipinas will emerge as a global leader in responsible mining. Pinangunahan ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. ang 21st National Economic and Development Authority o NEDA Board Meeting sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Dito, inaprubahan ng Pangulo ang ilang mahalagang proyekto ng pamahalaan gaya ng Mindanao Transport Improvement Project at ang Health System Resilience Project Phase 1. Bumisita si Pangulong Marcos Jr. sa probinsya ng Sorsogon para inspeksyonin ang ilan sa mga proyektong infrastruktura ng gobyerno. Kabilang dyan ang Sampaloc Tenement at Sorsogon National Government Center na matatagpuan sa Sorsogon City. Ito ay isang mahalagang hakban upang maitaguyod natin ang ating mga kababayan na may angking galing sa larangan ng palakasan. Sa tulong nito, mabibigyan sila ng pagkakataon upang mahasa pa ang kanilang mga talento. Tulad din ng mga Olimpiyan natin na lumahok nitong 2024 na Paris Olympics. Hangarin natin sa pamamagitan ng arena na ito, lalo pang dumami ang mga kababayan natin na magbibigay ng dangal sa ating bansa. Maaring pag may pagkakaiba tayo sa paniniwala at sa opinion, ngunit alam ko na tayo ay pinagbubuklod ng iisang hangarin na may angat ang antas ng pamumuhay ng bawat isang Pilipino. With the signing of the Aral Law, we embark on a definitive journey to champion the right of every Filipino child to quality education, ensuring as well that it is accessible to all. Learning, after all, is not confined to the four walls of a classroom. 
The diverse experiences that our learners encounter will endow them with a wisdom to navigate life's complexities, the courage to venture beyond the familiar, and the confidence to confront every challenge head on. At para sa ating mga kabataan, hangad ko na gamitin ninyo ang programang ito upang makamit ninyo ang tagumpay. Bilang ama, edukasyon ang pinakamahalagang pamana na maari naming iwanan sa inyo. Walang material na bagay na makakatumbas sa halaga ng edukasyon. Let us collectively aspire to build a bagong Pilipinas, one where education serves as the cornerstone of our nation's progress. Through our integrated efforts, we can create a future where no learner is left behind and every Filipino child can flourish in an increasingly complex world. I have watched the design community become better and better and better uh, in the Philippines and approaching world class. Now, I would, I, I would even go so far as to say that now we have, in many cases that I've seen here today, surpassed world class. We're better than others. I'm sure anyone who is in the market for these designs, whether it be furniture or fashion or any, everything else that we've seen today, um, I, I, I am so confident that we will do well uh, in the world markets. We will do all, everything that we can so that the world will know even better how, how good Filipinos are. Yung galing ng Pinay, makita ng buong mundo.